This is Brother Ron, and welcome to We All Be News Radio and TV, the news free Dixie for the 21st century. Be Radio is proud to welcome Pastor Charles Steeney, the younger brother of the late great uh, George Steeney Jr., who was the youngest person executed in United States 20th century history at the age of 14, June 16, 1944. So how are you doing today? Doing pretty well, thank you, Lord. So how are you doing? I'm fine. I can't complain. I just want to get to it. Like, How do you feel about the recent uh, interest in your, in your brother's case, like people trying to clear his name and whatnot? How do you feel about that? Yes, um, we think it's a good idea because it would be a example because so many innocent people, you know, put the death in the past they didn't know them. And uh, think it would be, uh, be a good thing if they could uh, class them because uh, they did because they really didn't have no, no, no one to, uh, nobody uh, happen at, at the time. And what type of uh, person was your brother George? He, he was very, uh, for his age, he was very, very smart and, and, and active and everything. That, that they, uh, in the school, he's doing, uh, he, he's doing pretty well in school because he's able to help my mother out with a lot of you know, work and writing letters and so forth and so forth. But, so he was very uh, outgoing and very friendly. Uh, 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 but, uh, he had other friends and so forth. They, they, they get together and be singing a little songs and together and so forth. And was he an artist too? I mean, he created. Yeah, he, 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 did, he did a lot of drawing and so forth and school and everything. He was pretty good at that also. And can you describe what happened? I mean, why your brother uh, got put to death in the first place? You, you, uh, what happened? How did he get in trouble? Well, some, what happened? It, it was uh, some uh, two uh, uh, white girls uh, uh, legend. Uh, there was in, uh, I guess, in our neighborhood, and uh, and uh, the, uh, somehow they, 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 that night uh, they, they say they was missing or something, and then. Uh, all, all uh, the neighbors and even my father they went out to try to find them, and one day they found them the next day. That 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 uh, this that this son really was uh, uh, killed and so forth. And uh, they pick up a lot of those boys uh, in our area, and uh, even my older brother who passed away this year. Uh, 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 next only it wasn't all uh, uh, mm. he, he was with them also, <clears throat> but. Uh, but he was working at the mill and, and, and so forth, and the same with my father. So at the, at the mill uh, there, and so, uh, and uh, I don't know what happened. Why how they accused him out of all the rest? I, I really don't know because I wasn't um, with him. I, then to pick him up, I wasn't home at the time. So I don't. And uh, how they claimed he he did it and thing because in that era. Uh, from the mill where they uh, around there, they had a watchtower that could look all over that area, and anything that happened, they certainly could uh, be able to see anybody doing anything in that area. So, so they, like they, really, they really they had no witness that that, that, that he, he said, uh, I don't want to try to frame him in confessing something. I, I don't know what, uh, how, what actually happened, because I, I wasn't with them, uh, with all the other uh, boys that took pick up at the time either. Oh, yeah, I was trying to figure out, you know, uh, uh, from the descriptions I get about your about your brother, that he was, like, uh, very small for his age, like he was about 5 feet and 90 pounds. And my understanding, one of the girls was actually bigger than him, and they said that he used a railroad spike to kill the girls. 
I mean, the people will look at the discrepancy between his size and whatnot and his ability to do something like that. I mean, it, I mean, what was the logic? I mean, what was their reasoning? Did they ever tell you the reason? I mean, there was no evidence, correct? That no, no, no it, the thing. It, it, it didn't have no evidence in the red, and it had no witness in there. And, and uh, I don't know whether it's uh, uh, frame or, or what they did to try to, uh, to put it on him that he did it or not. Uh, uh. Did, did he see the girls that day? Did they ask him about where to find flowers? I, I read uh, stories that say he was looking, uh, they were looking for flowers that day, the two white girls that got killed. And they right, but, by your brother and his sister on the porch. Yeah, my, my younger sister said she was with me. They saw him, but they, they uh, he, he told them, uh, said no, and they must have went on. And later on, uh, 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 my younger sister said, and they, and, and they went on back home, and he they went and started doing his uh, homework. <laughs> we all, we all, when they got your brother, uh, when they took him away, did you realize uh, how much trouble he was in? Yeah, and everyone realized that that might that was gonna be the last time y'all ever see him again outside well, of prison. Well, some of my, my neighbor, because uh, I was young too, because uh, I think my father uh, left me because my mother still hadn't come home yet, and so um, we he's left with our neighbor, and uh, one of my neighbors said we probably won't see him again because of the. Uh, Because uh, this, and but actually, the, 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 no way. Actually, they, they, they really didn't have no witness there. Uh, on what they try to like that he did it. Uh, uh, put uh, uh, because like I said, uh, 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 others in that era, other uh, boys and and two in the era, <laughs> and took a uh, not on took him took uh, a lot of others too, but. Uh, <laughs> So they round up like a, they round up a lot of black boys from the neighborhood. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they did. Them. Right. And like, also, like, did he realize how much trouble he was in? Did George realize? You feel like he realized he was like in a lot of trouble? Well, see, I I never saw him again. Hmm. We didn't talk to him. The only one uh, uh, he talked to uh, that must have the trial. My, my, my mother. I don't think my father saw him again. Uh, my mother was saying to me, he told my mother he wasn't guilty of the crime. But they said, I mean, from uh, what I understand, that he confessed, that they gave him ice cream to confess. Is that true? That they, that... Uh, I, I, I didn't understand you. All right, he said, uh, well, the stories I get now, they said that they gave him uh, ice cream to confess to the crime. The officers interrogated him without any witnesses in the room for about an hour. And they gave him yeah, ice cream. Yeah, that's why I heard it's something like that. It must have something they they they, they did because I uh did you try to have him uh to, to make him confess or something that I, as I heard about that. I mean, one version of the story I heard it was like a candy bar or whatnot. I mean, they interviewed some people for a newspaper article about uh about almost ten years ago, I believe, in South Carolina. Uh, but I was going to ask you um. So there was nobody in town when your uh, no family in town when your brother went to uh, went to trial. Was there any family in the in the area that could have saw him? It, it was not our family was there. So it, 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 they just had to trial and so forth. But, but uh, there really was no witness. You know? So y'all was actually forced to leave the state before the trial began. No, see the thing, but in Akalu, see that was a company on. Operation there, everything was belonged to that company in Akalu, mm-hmm. and so everyone mm-hmm. worked at that mill and everything, the, the house and everything, the living and everything belonged to the company, the stove, uh, the Boston, and they had no encouragement and everything. Mm-hmm. And uh, when, when that happened, so since they they not started it and brought the the company, they just tell my father we had to go and we had to leave that same night. You had to leave the same night. Wow. The same that that same uh, to get the, the next train leaving, we had to go. The same, the same day that they took your brother away, y'all had to leave right, that, that night. Right, at that, that night. We had to wow, y'all, wow. Y'all, 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 so y'all had to leave all y'all clothes. I mean, I mean, y'all we had leave to leave all y'all clothes. We had to take enough, uh, pack up and uh, enough with us. And this, uh, I had my father and um, my mother and uh, my sister there. They just had to get ready and we had to go. 
And all the way we went to pine with and then now uh, stay by my grandmother to my father find then the Lord blessing me be able to find working in something and that's where we sell down there on uh to let everything uh everything was over and so forth. Well, what ended up happening to your home? I mean, what happened to the property you got here? I mean, well, we see, we was renting. I said everything belonged to the, uh, that company. I was a company town. I got you. Okay. Yeah, that, uh, see, the, uh, everything, the operation, the the, the 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 company store and everything, and the mill and everything where they work, and all them homes around there belong to the, the company and everything. And so uh, we just left everything and then. And, uh, 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 father found work, uh, and then he was able to go back to uh, 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 pick up that, uh, move his friend out of the house and everything, and bring it back to something. Did the, uh, I know that your brother had a court appointed lawyer. Did you ever talk to the family about what was going on with your with your brother? Did you ever get in touch with you all? No, it, see, like I say, the, nobody was in touch with him. And uh, to the time when our neighbors take my mother there. Cause my father didn't uh, wasn't there either, uh, and uh, and uh, and that's the only time my mother uh, was able to see him. Uh, I think they say was in Columbia, there, and that's where uh, 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 we neighbor take my mother there uh, to see him, and that's when she talked with him and so forth. And he say he he wasn't guilty of. But so him him one time was it before the trial. Only one time, one time. That was before the trial happened, that she saw him? It must have after the trial. It probably could have been after the trial because they could, this could convict him. And, uh, but, but, uh, but no witness because they claimed that she was two girls and they claimed he could kill both. But well, I understand that he only was trial for one. So the other girl uh, disarmed for uh, killing one of them, not for both because... <laughs> I mean, so like, you know, my understanding was one of the girls that got killed was she a daughter of a sheriff or something like that? Uh, I, I'm not sure. Cause uh, at that time we uh, we didn't know talking about, about the case. A lot of who uh, did research on it, they, they were able to get more information. Cause at that time we didn't have too much information about it. So it basically like I know you said they they uh, rounded up some black boys. So really, there was no really no really true suspects outside a young black man, only right, black right. boys. Right, right. Uh, have y'all ever heard anything after what happened? I mean, after your brother died or, or was executed by the state, were there any rumors or anything that came out about another possible suspect or suspects? Somebody say something later on. It could have been some other uh, uh, person who did it, who confessed before they died that they was actually the one. Mm-hmm. Like you know, I did a deathbed confession. Just something like that. Do you know the person's name who posted did this, the confession? I wouldn't want to call on name because they, they, they just say uh, somebody. Uh, but we had had somebody as you know who worked in a lumber. There was a uh, man he in charge of a lumber yard, mm-hmm. and he was uh, in there uh, around there all the time in that in that same area. Mm-hmm. So you know, also, okay. there was a watchtower, that man who could look all over that area and see what anything had gone on. So you think it was more than one person involved and they might have been working at the lumber mill with your, with your it, father? It could have been somebody who uh, who around that lumber yard who who could, uh, and who know the family could have something. I don't know whether they had something in for the family or what. I was trying to figure out how could your brother, I mean, he was smaller in stature for his age. Mm-hmm. If I understand, well, one of the girls bigger than him, I, I, I mean, see, uh, nobody discussed me too much about that because my um, parents never discussed about it, and uh, all we know is this was two girls because at that age, uh, uh, young, and uh, after we left, we didn't uh, did too much discussion about it. Mm-hmm. What about, uh, man, let me see. Uh, so how do you, I mean, do you remember how you felt when you heard that your brother got the death sentence? It was kind of rough, yeah, anyway, you know, because one of my uh, workers in, in something, they, uh, one of uh, other neighbors, and he, they figured they wouldn't do it to uh, something like that. Uh, when they had they done something, but he, he figured that they wouldn't do it to him like that. Uh, but they, they, they did it. <laughs> Imagine this. Were there any white people in the community that thought that 
George was railroaded. Did anybody express any concern about him not getting a fair uh, trial? Any white person from the area? No, uh, not at the time because uh, all of them that see, I guess, have to figure if uh, they could uh, uh, just get them to confess and everything. All they can want somebody to uh, to, to take their the the uh, and and that he can, if they can get him to confess that he did it, then then everybody else gonna believe it. Because even the other family of of the uh, of these. Uh, 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 girls, and then they go up with uh, uh, that he that he did it. <laughs> They're not looking at the side to believe he did. Well, I mean, I mean, my understanding too that there weren't any. Uh, his lawyer did not file any appeals on his behalf to postpone his death. Right? I mean, there was he didn't. And the lawyer did not call any witnesses, nor did he file any appeals on behalf of your brother. Correct? Right. As far as I know. So, did he ever contact you all after the trial and after your brother died? Did he ever write a letter to your family, to your parents? Nothing I know. <laughs> okay. So, like, what was there any efforts? The uh, can you recall anybody, like any organization, stepping up to talk about what was happening to your brother down in South Carolina? Were there any uh, famous people, celebrities, or organizations that came forth to protest the injustice of your brother's trial and fate? Well, uh. uh Someone telling that the uh, NSAP uh, was trying to help him, and they even try to uh, think uh, uh, they try to get the, the the president to try to uh, figure to stop it, but uh, I don't think he had been that was over the president at the time. Mm-hmm. So, like, what was like? Do you recall how you felt when you first? Heard, what were you when you first heard the news that your your brother was 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 dead? Well, it, it, it was it was kind of uh, a hurting thing, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was really because we all were, like I say, I, I we was all young then because he was uh, about fourteen. I was uh, even eleven, twelve. I can't even remember at the time. You, you look like him, so you look like your brother. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, do you remember where you was at when you heard the news that your brother got killed or was dead? Do you can you recall where you was at and what what you was doing? No, no, because I guess they were expecting that that uh, thing anyhow. Uh, uh, I, I can't. Uh, and well, I probably, uh, at, at that time, uh, my parents didn't say too much about me uh, to me uh, about it at that time, because only they would let 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 us know what was going on, but they didn't say too much about it. <laughs> well, y'all, were the family allowed to claim his body? I mean, what happened to his body? No, they, they, they claim it, Bob, because they have, uh, had to burn and everything. The yeah. only thing, my mother yeah. here would say they didn't have to burn them up like that, because they just, uh, re- re- just, uh, just, you know, just like you're shooting at somebody, it's like, uh, they just re- really just, uh, it was kind of rough. Mm. So, uh, were you, were you, were you, so did you have an open casket funeral, or was it a closed casket? It, 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 was, it was open, because uh, the, 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 they had it uh in uh, time with the home of my uh, grandmother, the, 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 and the pastor from uh, from uh, Akalu, he's the one that uh, preached the service. Okay, well, your grandmother, she lived in South Carolina. Yeah, she in time with that's with, with uh, the uh, in the same uh, area area where they buried him. A Pinewood, South Carolina. Right. And so, like, was this your mom's mom or your father's mom? Uh, the uh, the. Uh, I'm not sure if all of them were born, I think, uh, because... Uh, I'm uh, sure your grandma, was, when you had the funeral, who grandma, who mother was that? Or was it your father's oh, it's, mother? It's my, my mother, uh, my mother, my uh, mother. Did you, I mean, actually, like, when you first saw your brother's body, what did you think about? Well, at that time, I was, it, it was young and, and thinking, but it's, 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 it's true, and you really just don't realize the effect of it at, at that time anyway. Mm-hmm. Because it's, 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 it's so young, you really, uh, don't realize it's like coming in life. You don't realize what these things are all about, and just to uh, see him taken away like that. I mean, did it put a fear in you? I mean, like if this happened to your brother, it happened. I mean, how did how did you, how did it affect you as a, as a as a young as a young person, not so as a brother of seeing your big brother get killed like that? I mean, how did it affect you? Well, it it, it it's uh. It's, 
it, it affects, but yet the virus being uh, the church going, people, it, it, it's the law for give us strength, because we are always going, going to church, uh, mm-hmm. people, because uh, the, the church wasn't so far from where we, um, we live at. Um, and we also God fearing people at the time, so we really say, had to look for strength and so forth. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's buried. He's buried in a family plot in Pinewood, or it was Pinewood. Some years ago, so I, I, in fact, I haven't been back in, in the area since, since that time. Oh wow! So you didn't see your birth grace since the forties, right? Are you saying? Right, right. So you, I mean, well, any reasons why is like why would why didn't you why haven't you been back since nineteen forty four to see your brother's grave? Well, I don't. I don't usually visit the grave. I said once, the, once the person depart, they are gone, and so that's just good, like gone. Uh, I figure that's like a house. Example, the person I know gone out of there, and and, uh, mm-hmm. and I just don't take a visit. <laughs> and I don't but, do, do the same thing that the grave. I don't go too much. Once the person depart, I don't go visit the grave because that's that's just the shell, and uh, it, it, the person I know is gone. Yeah, I agree with that. I can agree with that definitely. But does anybody go? I mean, is he, what's the name of the cemetery he's buried in? I think uh, Carver, as far as I can remember, some time ago. I'm, was it in Pinewood? Is it in Pinewood? Pinewood. Okay. Mm-hmm. But you don't know if the grave is marked or unmarked, anything like that? You know. I I know, uh, remember, because some uh, said they've been there and they claim they can't find it now, so I really don't know what happened. Okay. And uh, do you know any family? I mean, I mean, actually, it's like, how does this affect the family like, generation wise? Do I, are the young people in the family aware of what happened to your brother, your relatives, and whatnot? Well, Y'all talk about this at reunions? Well, they, they do a lot in our family reunion, but uh, during the, the, the time we have uh, been discussing, they, they do more uh, discussion about uh, more than we do. Because uh, actually, the one who. Uh, who doing a lot of research on it and and uh, bringing the, the the case to trying to get his name clear is more uh, friends with the family and so forth and because and uh, we just appreciate appreciate what they're doing but we have um, uh, just dwell on it so much we just try to uh, just uh, try to not dwell on it that much. But I, I mean, it must be painful because you see this same stuff happening over and over again. I mean, just several weeks. I mean, just a couple of weeks ago. We had the Troy Davis, uh, you know, uh, execution by the state down in Georgia under questionable circumstances. I mean, it was a lot of reasonable doubt in his case. There was no circumstantial uh, evidence linking him to the scene of the crime of the police officer getting killed. And well, I, did that bring back memories looking at the, the, the trial and, and what was going on with the Troy Davis case? Could you relate that to your brother's case? Yes, because then, then, then people don't get a fair trial, and they don't have the the proper witness, and and uh, the, some of the eyewitness, uh, uh, even in uh, uh, biblical time, uh, God commanded that you couldn't shouldn't put their, their nobody to death uh, except to be two or three witnesses. You should uh, before you put anybody to death, you should have some eyewitness, at least somebody to make sure that's the right person. <laughs> Because you want to put yeah. some of the innocent person to death, uh, uh, you don't have no eyewitness uh, that they did it. You know, like they say, it's say just as blind for a reason. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? You know, hear no evil, see no evil type of thing going on. So I don't know if we can ever get justice. I think it's just us mm-hmm. dealing with uh, human shortcomings and prejudice and whatnot. And I want to ask you this. I mean, did you did you hate white people? At any time for what they did to your brother, I mean, did you blame white people? No, for no, no, because see, that's like I said, we've been uh, uh, religious and so forth. We don't care no hate uh, for uh, for for them because we never did. Because even when we seen something, we still to deal with them and talk to them. But still, they had no hate for nobody. But were you able <laughs> and to trust them? And even in something, they didn't they didn't bring it up uh, to us about nothing like that anyway, because uh, hmm. we was in the state and it's. Uh, Total uh, environment, because uh, nobody uh, in the beginning, uh, children in school would be discussing about it, uh, how they did it, burn them up, and so forth. But uh, uh, other than that, nobody, uh, of course, would uh, say nothing about it. White or black. So, what about anybody from Akalu that they, they ever white or black come to y'all family or wrote? Did anybody write letters from Akalu or try to communicate with the family over the years about what happened to George Taney? No. <laughs> 
Yeah. And like, how do you? Like, what is your? Uh, what is your your favorite memory of your brother? Can you tell us like one of your favorite memories of your brother? Well, uh, like I say, he he was uh, like more friendly than I was. He because we're always uh, uh, going uh, uh, very friendly and active in a lot of things and and so forth and uh, making friends and and uh, have a little group together and get the little. Try to sing their little songs and so forth, and and uh, and uh, those are uh, some of the things I remember about him. So forth, like I say, he was acting, acting in school and so forth, and helped my mother with a uh, lot of the things and so forth. Okay, yeah, I mean, I just, uh, I just saw. Uh, I think, like somebody says, I mean, have you ever sought out therapy? Anybody in your family ever sought therapy or counseling for what happened? I mean, it's very, it's very post traumatic, and it affects, I feel, generations. I mean, do you have a, a fear uh, of, of of law enforcement did, at any point in your life? Did you fear the police? No, I, I don't. I, I fear them and so. On. And also, I, I mean, I'm interested because your story, like you, you're a minister, you're a ordained minister, uh, you have a congregation in Brooklyn, and also the fact that you joined the armed forces, correct? Uh, uh, the Air Force. The Air Force. I mean, did right. you ever bring up the case? Did anybody ever bring the case up to you? I mean, were you? Uh, I'm asking this. No, like I, 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 no because no, nobody ever uh, bring it up. Uh, you know, the whole time in, in service and in other places. It wasn't until a lot of time that uh, some thought, uh, start looking in the case and 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 just start uh, checking out and so forth. But uh, so far, no, nobody ever brought up brought up anything. Well, did you, but, uh, did you ever like uh, for for example with you? To, I know people might not have brought up the case, but it, it might not have been aware of your connection to the case. But you ever make it a, a made any efforts? And, you know, you know, earlier to talk about what happened to your brother, or you just kept it to yourself for the most part. Yeah, we, we kind of kept it, uh, and, uh, and uh, all the time we uh, bring up and some uh, different ones try to c- come and talk to us about it. But uh, other than that, we didn't try to discuss it and so forth. What do you think about what happened 11 years later with Emmett Till? I mean, what was your thoughts about that? Did you think about your brother? What's that? Uh, Emmett Till, what happened to Emmett Till in 1955? So your brother was, was dead for 11 years, but, you know, 11 years later you have Emmett Till. And what was your thoughts about the Emmett Till uh, travesty? Did you connect it with your brother, or you just thought it was a separate incident? No, I just didn't quite understand you there. About I was talking about the Emmett Till uh, case, uh, the, uh, Emmett Till, the young man from Chicago who was killed in Mississippi uh-huh. for, for Leslie Wilson and a white woman. In uh, 1955, down in... in, in yeah, I heard, I heard something about it, yeah. I mean, like they showed his picture in a Jet magazine, disfiguring and stuff by racial hatred. Yeah, because some places is really uh, uh, it's, it's rough on them anyway, uh, 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 people, because of that. But were you able to, do uh, you remember, like, the effect? I mean, like, were you able to recall the effect it had on you? I mean, do you remember seeing the picture when it first came out or hearing about the case? No, because a lot of them, I, 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 I haven't uh, followed through with it. Okay, so you he wasn't aware. Okay, I mean, I, I, I wasn't aware. Of it. Do you think the uh, the black community failed your brother in terms of not trying to do more? You think we could have did more in terms of community to help your brother out at the time? I don't know whether too much uh, uh, they could be able to do it at that time anyway, because you know uh, because of that. that the the the, the prejudice and stuff in the in South during that time, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, I don't know whether it's anything they could have do because sometimes people just convince and, and figure uh, the, the, the right one that it, it's not nobody can tell them. Mm-hmm. And I guess lastly, have you been back to the state of South Carolina since uh, what happened to your brother? Have you been back to the state? Oh, South Carolina? Yes, sir. Yeah, I've been uh, 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 this, uh, something many, uh, many times and so forth, but uh, Akalu, I might have just on a bus or a car or something passed through there, but I, I've never been back in Akalu. Yeah, are there any relatives or friends still there you, you know of? Well, you know, 
Akalu. No, because uh, uh, most of our family was, wasn't there anyway. Our, our family was like in, in, uh, in other parts, but not in Akalu, because my father just uh, happened to uh, find working right there, and, 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 uh, and then later he moved his family there, but uh, uh, all our other family was in uh, South Carolina, uh, uh, like uh, Pine Woods and other parts, and so forth. They wasn't in Akalu. Let me ask you, like, how did it affect your parents, the what happened to your brother? I mean, did they talk about it at all with you all, or they kept it to themselves? I mean, how how, how do your parents respond to that? They, they, they didn't uh, they didn't uh, they didn't talk too much about it. My father and thing that they just seemed to try to put in the in the past, and then uh, and my father and thing they just just move on. My mother just just uh, move on. So, but they didn't they didn't keep talking about it and so forth. How many kids did your parents have? Well, uh, uh, with, with us, uh, we uh, we had a uh, what uh, it been for uh, us for the uh, father and mother, but, but uh, our father uh, he had a uh, wife. If uh, his first wife died, so uh, he brought uh, he had a, uh, another sister from his first wife. And my mother also, when you got married, she had two sons. So that those are uh, two sons. So that would make a uh, about uh, 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 four boys and uh, and uh, about uh, three girls there. And how, how many of y'all still around out of that group? Uh, uh, only uh, uh, it's only myself and my two sisters now. Two uh, younger sisters. And have they ever talked about the case of the? I mean, I know one of your sisters talked about the case to yeah, National they, Public they, Radio. Yeah, but they uh, did a lot of uh, interviews uh, before I was because they uh, one of the uh, 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 George uh, 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 who, who's working on the case now. Uh, uh, he's the one that the journalist who's trying to uh, he, he did did a lot to get uh, get a start anyway and uh, trying to get the case reopened and so forth so he can. Claire's name. He, he's the one that first started talk, talking to my, my sister before he uh, he did any talking to me and so forth. But he, okay. Mm. So everybody, for the most part, your sisters and you, y'all, y'all good with people trying to exonerate the name of your brother to clear his name? Uh, yeah, uh, like I said, most uh, 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 like uh, a family, uh, the, like a family reunion, and those who are part of the the family, they're working on a, along with uh, all the uh, friends of the family. And uh, who would want? Uh, and I said, uh, 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 George uh, uh, Price, and he, he's the one that really, uh, generally, he really uh, trying to get the case reopened and clear his name. His name is George Patterson. Uh, Price. What can you say again? Yeah, uh, I sometimes I get, get his, his uh, last name because you called me the other day. So. Okay, I, yeah. I, I, I'll look him up. I've seen some articles. Right, so he, he's the one. He's that oh, I the one that uh, pushing it anyway, trying to. Okay, but he has got, but he got y'all blessing. He got the fa- blessing of the family to do this. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's great. So, are you, uh, I just thank you, Pastor Steny. And do you have any other thoughts you want to share with us before we go? Uh, no. Uh, that's basically it and so forth. But like I say we uh, we don't have no hatred or war to uh, anyone concerning that because. Uh, and that's how we was able to make it because you can't uh, hatred and stuff like that. And Mar said, it just keep you bitter toward people, and uh, we can't live like that. We have to do like Jesus did. They heard it. Him and he said, Father, forgive me because I don't know what they're doing. So as I, they're doing things. I figured they, they don't know what they're doing, but <laughs> we just uh, they don't have no bitterness toward them. I heard that. So you, do you have any kids yourself, or Pastor Stani? Uh, yes, we have. Uh, we have two sons and uh, uh, three daughters. Were they aware of growing up of what happened to your brother? Did you make it aware to them of what happened to your brother? Or you no, they, they, they don't know. They, they don't know too much about it. They, they just hear most of when uh, the few when they they run the store on the other day. And some of them was uh, way up. They, some of them know about it. But wasn't uh, they, this uh, uh, Got a little more detail about it by running the story there the other day on on the on the yeah it didn't get a lot of play I mean CNN and MSNBC and mm-hmm. so much thing I'm just thankful that he's finally getting his recognition because it's very horrible 
But the really tragic thing about it to me is the fact that this stuff's still happening in our in our court system today. Right, right. That's in our judicial system, and hopefully we can learn from this lesson and move forward. But I just want to thank you. I just want to, uh, on behalf of me, as being a conscious person, apologize what this country has done to your family in mm-hmm. terms of taking away your, your talented and wonderful brother from all the counties. See, he was a very gifted and wonderful person to be around. He's a very special person. Right, right. So I want to thank you, and uh, I want to also thank you for showing me the meaning of agape love and how to forgive your enemies and how to not let people's uh, hatred rob you of your glory and of your promise. Right. So I want to thank you with this, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, all right. Thank you, too. All right, Pastor. You have a blessed day. All right, then. Yes, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.